Cosmic Tail, and to keep you in anticipation of which form of Eevee I'm going to get for my team, I'm going to evolve Weepin' Belly and Gloom first, even though it should be kind of obvious which one I'm doing. I should have bought a Water Stone and a Thunder Stone as well, just to keep you guys guessing, but I really didn't want to waste the money and the bag space. But with this, we get a Victory Bell. I always liked Victory Bell more than Vile Plume. But I had Pokemon Red, so I could never get a Victory Bell. It's not like moves and stuff like that. I just thought Victory Bell looked cooler. I mean, Victory Bell is a gigantic Venus flytrap that will eat your face and has eaten James's face. And Gloom is just a gigantic f walking flower thing. Take your pick. And lastly, for these stoners, yes, I call them stoners, Eevee gets a Fire Stone, and thus we have the third member of my team. Flareon! It's basically a slightly bigger Eevee that now has gigantic manes of fire and stuff. So yeah, we now have a Fire type. Although it doesn't know any Fire type moves just yet, it just knows Tackle and Quick Attack and Growl or Sand Attack or something like that. But either way, uh, keep that casino in mind for later. We're actually going to be spending quite a bit of money on that place. But first, one of these guys here will give us the thing that we need to spend a ton of money on that place. Ah, uh, this guy, here we go. Did he just say he's going straight? It's just like that moment in the Pokemon anime. It's times like these that I wish I went straight or something like that when they got zapped by lightning. And then line makes absolutely no sense except for the fact that James said it. So many references to James in this episode, my god. But yeah, keep that rocket in mind for later as well. But basically, what we want to do, we have a whole bunch of money and we can buy 50 coins at a time. Uh, you could go sit in one of the seats and play slots, however that really doesn't uh, pay up for very much. I really just suggest, it's a lot easier to just buy coins in packs of 50, so I went and bought a bunch of coins. And that's pretty much it for that. We're going to be spending quite a bit of money on there, something that will amount to like 11,000 coins I believe. So that's quite a bit of money because I have a gambling addiction. And yes, we are going in this place with four Pokemon. Because past this little tree thingy, we have our next gym. Gym number four, although in the anime this is number five, which is the way it's supposed to be. But because of story stuff, we can't go to gym number four yet. And if you talk to that guy, he'll say something like, I love this gym, it's full of women just standing around and looking in different directions. It's really hot. Or something like that. But yeah. And what is this? Music, my god! There is actually music playing during the battle, this is new! Yeah, story for you all as we go through this gym. My god! I wake up this morning and I go onto YouTube because yes, that's the first thing I do when I wake up, except not really, I ate breakfast first. But then I go onto YouTube and I open up everybody's uh, updates to their let's plays and stuff that I'm going to watch later. I just open them up so they can render and stuff Or load the time or whatever and then I go to check well I see in the little bar thing. It says comments three and My first reaction is my god three comments. That's new and so I check and Yeah, one of them was from Josh Jepsen actually which surprised me even further, and that was a suggestion that I should download the music and have it playing during the battle. So now I'm doing that! Because it was actually a brilliant idea, I must say. And if you couldn't tell, I'm in an incredibly good mood. And then I look on my channel, and I see that the last part of Pokemon Yellow has like 130-something views. And then... I find that amusing because it's like part 11, 15 views, part 12, 130 something, and then part 13, it's probably going to be like 20 at most. And then I look down further and I see that my subscriber count has jumped up by 10. And that just like made my morning 
probably made my entire day. And I am in an incredibly good mood, if you couldn't tell. Ah, uh, rap, that almost ruined my good mood. But no, I am way too happy. So, yay. Unfortunately, Flareon does not yet know a fire attack and is refusing to learn one as it now learns Bite instead of something like Fire Spin. And Fire Spin is probably going to be its first fire type move. Anyways. Uh, yay for teleporting trainers. No, actually, I just went back to the Pokemon Center because Flareon was hurting and was poisoned. And sniped. No, oh, well, it's going to battle her anyways. Now, unfortunately, I didn't think about it, and I didn't think that the doo -doo 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 thing at the very beginning of the battle where the screen rotates into black. I didn't think about that, and that I accidentally kept that into the actual music that's playing right now. However, I will fix that in the next episode. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about, but whatever. That was quick. But yeah, putting music to this wasn't nearly as difficult as I thought it would be. So that's nice. I also have Charmeleon as backup. Just in case. Uh, too late. I have two fire Pokemon. Although bugs you don't have to worry about. I hate bug Pokemon. Not because they're gross or icky or anything like that, but because they're weak. At least most of them. And yeah, I like Flareon. Pretty cool looking and yet pretty cute as well. Uh, pretty good attack stat. A uh, pretty good special stat, not the greatest, but it's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Uh, pretty good speed. HP is meh. Defense is meh. But still. And Flareon is a Pokemon that I've used only once before. Uh, back in my first playthrough of the game, actually, I was just like, okay, Eevee. And then I bought a Firestone to evolve my Growlithe that I had for whatever reason. I think I just liked it so I caught it or something. But then I saw that the Firestone would work on Eevee. So I was just like, oh, okay. So I used the Firestone on Eevee and I had Flareon. So all of a sudden I have three Fire-type Pokemon in my team in that game. Although I really only used Flareon during this gym, actually. And then I kind of just put them in the box and continued using only Char Charizard. Because, yeah. Ah, what is with the poison? I hate grass type Pokemon and you just block that tree now I have to go around thank you but I hate grass type Pokemon I mean most of them have vines which they can use to use wrap and stuff and they all have status afflicting moves like poison powder stuff like that and they just aren't that useful otherwise other than uh, afflicting status moves which other Pokemon can do because their type coverage really isn't that great. You have you can have other Pokemon to cover the same types and others as well. But alas. And if you saw we just fought an Execute, which is a strange type combination Pokemon, at least its evolved form is. I don't know about Execute specifically. But Executor, its evolved form, is also part psychic type, which is strange. But alas. Can we please learn a fire type move? No? Okay. Bite's still pretty good. We just took down two bell sprouts in like five seconds. Hooray. I really did pick ep quite the episode to start putting in music though. A episode with like ten trainers in the gym battle. At least I don't have to put music to the yay for teleporting trainers. Yes, yes. Hello. Hi, Erica. We want battle. Yeah. Oh, I never would have guessed that you were a grass type trainer. It's not like everybody else is using grass Pokemon. But anyways. Erica has three Pokemon. One of them is Tangela, so it's staying true to the anime so far. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not using Charmeleon or Charmander, but either way. Uh, being a gigantic ball of nothing but vines, you can imagine that it will have pretty much every single rap type move in the game. Luckily she's only using bind. Which, well, no, actually that's not lucky in the slightest. Never mind. Please stop. Like, three of her moves. She has constrict, which only lowers speed. 
but she has bind as well. And because she lowered my speed, she always gets to go first, which means she has me caught in an infinite loop. Which is an annoying strategy. This is when bind and fire spin and clamp and stuff like that becomes extremely annoying to battle against. However, since Flareon is quicker than most Pokemon, and I also have Quick Attack, which didn't do anything. Yay for voice crack. It didn't do anything. But we're continuing anyways. There we go. Critical hit. We got lucky. Quite the level up. Uh, any new moves? Nope. No fire type moves still. So now we're going to switch into Charmeleon, who's only level 24 and will probably die. But at least he has a fire type move, even though that's just Ember. But let's try it anyways, I guess? Yeah, not really all too much. Uh, Charmeleon's gonna die. There we go. Yay! We're almost... We're like three fifths left. This is taking forever. Okay, Charmeleon just fainted. Awesome. Back to Flareon. Is this getting out of. I think this might be getting slightly out of sync, in which case, crap. I could have sworn that I sunk, synced it all up. Oh well. Gloom is our last Pokemon. Now, luckily, we don't have a fire-type move, otherwise this entire place would light on fire, and then we'd have to go save Gloom, and then we get our badge. Actually, that would be a lot easier. Why can't we just do that? So much acid! Ah, and we were just talking about stoners, like, ten minutes ago. My god. This episode has a running theme. Oh, well. We won. We get our rainbow badge. And yes, we can now use strength outside of battle. Why the grass type gym leader lets you use strength? I don't know. I mean, when I think of grass and flowers and everything, the last thing I think about is strength. But whatever, Flash would make more sense, but then we'd have to go through Rock Tunnel without Flash, in which case, oh my god. But whatever. I can now jump on over, uh, go to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and do more stuff, including grabbing some more Pokemon, maybe, in the last couple minutes of this episode. Uh, going into random houses, because we can. Why is there a rocket member here? I mean, there are these guys, and I'm guessing they're the residents. But then there's the random rocket member. I'm not even going to talk to him, though. And as you can see, there are rocket members all over the town, and we're going to need to take care of that, even though the way that we take care of that does not actually get them out of the town. So what we're going to quickly do is talk to this uh, random hole in the wall to get a Vulpix. And if you can't find a fourth Moonstone, you can buy a Wigglytuff there. Just make sure that you don't use a Moonstone on Jigglypuff. Uh, and then you could just get that Wigglytuff and you have to find one less Moonstone. Although I'm still going to show where you can get Moonstones. And again, I walk into the wrong building. For what- that building does not have a door. For whatever reason, I continuously mistake the Celadon Mansion for the Mart. But whatever. Either way, to evolve the Vulpix that we have now just received, actually Vulpix would- would have been helpful. For... Uh, what you want, the gym, because it's another Fire-type Pokemon. It probably knows a Fire-type move, but I'm happy with the way I did it with Flareon. Because that got Flareon some experience and allowed it to catch up to my other two Pokemon on the team. But, oh well. I thought of using Ninetales, but nah, I don't know. It just didn't seem all too great. I Because of a certain other person that uses the Ninetales, I didn't use it. I'll just put it that way. Either way... Like most of the other Pokemon of evolutions in this episode, we can use a Firestone on Vulpix to make it evolve into a Ninetales. Naruto looks rather feminine. What? What? Anyways. But now we can go and heal. And that's pretty much it. In the next part, we will... 
continue doing stuff. I really don't... Oh, yeah, we're going to go kick the rockets out of the town. So, I will see you then. Not getting cut off this time. Yes. <laughs>